break. And what I'm expecting today is to just see some, meet some good people and hopefully just to try and help out any way I can with how to help today. <laughs> Now, all the blue butterflies are here as helpers and runners during the day. So, where are you? Lavenders. Where is any lavenders? You probably can't hear me over this uh, this loud uh, loud racket in here. I'm a, an artist, and I'm currently working with Heritage to Help on the time capsule project uh, for the Leaf Hill Challenge event on the I think it's the 22nd today, isn't it? 22nd of September 2012. So if you're looking at this, you'll probably be seeing this in 10 years' time, which will be good. And I'll be a lot older then, and that'll be a lot of fun. Um, Today we're going to go up Leaf Hill and um, there's going to be a time capsule where we're going to uh, store these videos and also recordings of the event and also collages and drawings that people have done so that people will be able to see what we've tried to achieve today and uh, get a good idea of what we are trying to do on this lovely day. How's that sound? Right now. <laughs> 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 
Um, I've been taking off your team now. Oh, uh, so it's very nice to have your number. <laughs> okay. But I'm now a princess because some extra people have turned up. The forms haven't come back. All right. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, nice. okay. Nice. See you. <laughs> I've never been a princess at all. Oh, <laughs> you can always be a princess. Yeah. Hey, let us go. Andrew, tell me, of all the toys that you have, of all your favourite things, what is it that you would like to leave today and find again, discover again, in 50 years from now? Um, uh, little Lego. Lego! Do you really like Lego? Yes. Have you got lots of Lego? Yes. Yes? What things do you build with Lego? Lego. Trains. Trains. Aha. Well, in 50 years from now, we're going to open the box again and be back here. So you might find your Lego train here. Okay, thank you, Andrew. So, if you could put into that time capsule one thing today, it might be a material thing or a thought or whatever, something that you would send as a message to the people who open the box 50 years from now. 50 years. 50 years. What would it be? Would it be a thing or a, a thought or a... When, when I... Go. Well, it may, as far as I'm concerned, it may be too late, but it's extremely important to look after our world and the other life, all the lot, all of the life forms on it, or there will be, or it will just be too late. We'll just have a, a desolate wasteland, um, um, climatic chaos, uh, and in which we will be a threatened species, and many of the other species will simply be extinct. So what would your greatest hope be for the world of 50 years from now? That there will actually be any form of intelligent civilization left and that we won't have um, simply destroyed ourselves and much of the rest of nature by, by that time in 50 years. Thank you very much. And I will translate, we can put subtitles to it to see what the kid thinks. So Lizzie, in 50 years from now when it's opened, you are going to be 62. Oh goodness Absolutely, you'll be as old as me. <laughs> and if there's one thing that you could put in that time capsule today that you would like to look at, you'd like to discover again in 50 years from now, what would that be? That's kind of hard. 
I'd say keys, but then that might be my house keys, and then I won't be able to get home. But I, I don't know. I think I'd like. What would I, like? I think I'd like a drawing, a drawing that, like a word, my, like a word meaning, as if, oh, and I'd like to look back, back at it and see it all. That'd be nice. A drawing. That's wonderful. Thanks, Lizzie. Okay, if there was one thing that today you could put into that time capsule that you'd like to see again in 50 years from now, what would that be? A crown. A crown? Yep. Wow. You're a queen, are you? <laughs> no. I wish. <laughs> okay. If Thank in you. 50 years from now, when the box is opened, if there's one thing that you could put in that time capsule today, of your own, something personal, that would be meaningful for you to find in 50 years from now, what would that be? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that you personally could put into that time capsule today that you would like to send as a message about today to people in 50 years from now who open the capsule, what would that be? I was born in the mid 21st century, um, sorry, 20th century. Um, and the 20th century probably had far more wars than most other centuries. I hope, I won't be around at the end of the 21st century, I hope that they can look back and say it has been a peaceful century. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen, but um, we, we can live in hope. Okay, thanks, so Boris. If there's one thing that you personally could put of your own into that time capsule today, that you'd like to send as a message to to people in the future, 50 years from now, what would that be? Um, I think probably uh, a picture of my family. Oh, with a little... Oh, my oh, There's the Just a picture of my family with a note. Yeah, yeah, go back down. Okay, thanks. Am I I'm right. <laughs> Thank you. How about you? I, I again would like generations of pictures yeah, of, you know of my grandparents and yeah. my husband my kids mum and dad just looking at what people are wearing and do you know what another nice thing the, the cards that you know birthday cards that came from them at special occasions i think those are things that i actually like having there so i guess i love looking back I'd at like old photographs find. of so, you know old cars and and what people yeah. were wearing and sort yeah. of you know, what the environment was like. So yeah. Something in my garden. <laughs> a dried flower. <laughs> Something like that. Thanks very much. Colette, if there's one thing that you personally could choose to put in the time capsule today, anything whatsoever, that in 50 years from now, when you open the box, you would like to find there, what would that be? <laughs> I would like to put a picture of my family in the time capsule and, and uh, so I can just think about all the lovely memories that we shared. That's wonderful, thank you very much. Is there any one thing, any, anything personal, anything that is very meaningful to you that you would like to put in the time capsule today that you'd like to rediscover in 50 years from now? Yes. Or as communicate, a way of communicating with people in 50 years from now? What would that be? 
um, it'll be pictures of my family and as it's year 2012 um, we went to the Olympic which was hosted in England I went with my daughter and that was a very special moment um, it was a learning curve for my daughter to see how athletes um, keep on trying to get the gold medal um, so pictures of that in a time capsule and a picture of my daughter's drawing that she um, entered in a library competition, a medal, um, to do the Olympics 2012. She didn't win and she was very upset, but I put a message in there, if you don't try, you won't succeed, so keep on trying. And I hopefully when I go back in, how many years did you say? It's going to be 50 years from now. <laughs> oh, 50 years. Yeah, she will go. have time to go back. You'll be almost as old as me by then. Yes, I hope those words of wisdom she would know and um, be doing that, basically. <laughs> Thank you, that's wonderful. Thanks very much. Okay, if there's one thing that um, is so meaningful to you, that you could put it in the time capsule today to rediscover in 50 years from now when the box is opened. What would that be? 50 years from now, it would definitely be um, the Olymp um, Olympics, and well, especially the Paralympics, because I think um, the way we perceive, in 2012, I think has been a big milestone for the Paralympians, and I took my two girls there, so it, it would be the family photo of when we went to, the, to watch the Paralympics, and hopefully when they open the time capsule, they'll remember um, the time we spent together and um, the meaning of ev anything is possible um, if you put your mind to it and hopefully they'll look back at their life and would have achieved because um, they're able-bodied people and I hope that they can see that um, well basically anything is possible so it'd be a picture of the Olympics Paralympics when we went to the Paralympics That's thank wonderful, you. thank you very much So if there's any one thing, anything very personal, it could be material, immaterial, that you would like today to put into that time capsule, that you might look at again, something you'd like to find again in 50 years from now, or anything you'd like to send as a message to the future, what would that be? It's the um, sense of satisfaction of achieving something um, and like managing and helping people to actually come reach the top of the hill to see this magnificent view behind us um, and yeah and just keep smiling it's a good day that's great thanks and Alicia how about you 
well for me it's like it's not a hard work for me but for someone it's like it could be like climbing a mountain so what i like to say just believe in yourself and where there's a will there's always a way yeah. that's great thanks um peace and love in the hearts of everybody here that's terrific thank you all very much
you can't see what we do. You can't see. Actually, what happened many, many centuries ago, everybody was singing. Everybody was singing. Oh, feel the joy of doing sounds, not thinking, oh, I'm going to the choir, the music is difficult, I can't do it, I can't get it right, and get stressed about it. It's just about getting into the emotion of producing a sound, whatever that sounds, whatever comes out of you, and that mixes with everybody. In a sense, we don't make the difference because these are the professionals, these are the good ones who can't do it, and the rest of us are just <laughs> oh, looking at that because we can't do it, because actually you have the voice that you can't sing. Now, our first exercise, our first piece of music for this concert today, it's about the sounds that comes out of us. Whatever sound is, we're not thinking it's not correct and it's not right, and it's come conf uh, conform a musical piece. So I'm going to give it a few minutes. Whatever comes out of you, let it happen, let it sound. Because we are many today and we don't have a lot of time, I might cut it. That shouldn't be done. Normally, when we do a long session of primal singing, it's a lot of fun because sometimes you hear someone doing something and you want to go with it and then or you want to go the contrary or you prefer not to do it so we are going to start very mild and then we will do an, another uh, not so light exercise anybody who wants to start wants to uh, produce any sound we all mingle in Oh, <laughs> 